Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a BPAL Picks free NFL Picks of the Week. For Week 11, I am Joe Boric from BPAL. We are going to be giving free picks through hockey season, so please check us out. We're going to keep giving you the free pick through hockey season, and then we will have enough sports from hockey, basketball, and the end of NFL season to start charging again. But let's get right to it. On Thursday night football game is a battle of 6-3 and three opponents. The Arizona Cardinals with Kyler Murray versus the Russell Wilson led Seattle Seahawks. I think the Russell Wilson led Seattle Seahawks and the Hawks nest will get that win and cover the three point spread and it will be over 57 and a half because both of those teams have subpar defenses. Seattle's defense is putrid and Arizona's is just all right. So I believe that is going to be an over. The Seattle Seahawks are going to cover the spread and they are going to win that game. Now, for the Eagles and Browns, that is in Cleveland against the 6-3 and three Browns against the 3-5-1 and one Eagles. I believe the Browns are going to cover that spread, minus 3.5. That game will also be over 47.5. And, a half. and um, you obviously should take the money line also for the Browns because I believe they're going to cover the spread. It'll be over and they will win that ball game. Now we got the Tennessee Titans at Baltimore. Since that's at Baltimore and they've been playing... A very, 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 very solid and bounce back game. Uh, the Ravens are going to try to get their home record above 500 tomorrow. I think they will do so against the Titans. I do think this game will be close, so I don't think it'll cover a six point spread, but I do think the Ravens will win. I think it'll be below under 48 and a half. I think this is going to be a more defensive game. And also, you should take, obviously, the money line of the Ravens, because I think their win, I would not take the minus six spread. This game could be within three to five points. And then they will go under 48 and a half. That's what I have for that game. Detroit and Carolina is a battle of two opponents that are going nowhere. Uh, I would lean that one, even though it's in Carolina, to Detroit. Detroit's a better team than Carolina, even though Matt Patricia's a terrible head coach. They've at least battled and played best than compared to Carolina. So I do believe they'll be able to get that win. In terms of an over-under, I would just kind of stay away. That's not a game that you're, makes you warm and fuzzy inside, uh, really betting on uh, to begin with. Uh, New England and Houston is a game that I think will go to the New England Patriots. I do think they'll cover the two-point spread. Obviously, to win, usually you're going to cover a two-point spread, and I think they'll cover it. And then I would take the money line. The over-under in that game is kind of a toss-up, so I wouldn't really go near it. The Texans' offense has looked better some weeks since Bill O'Brien left and not so good in others. So I would just stay away from that. Pittsburgh and Jacksonville, let's just move right over this. Pittsburgh Steelers are winning that game. It is going to cover the 10-point spread, and let's just move right on. And then Atlanta Hawks and New Orleans Saints. This is another one we can move quickly through. The Saints are going to win this game whether Drew Brees is in or not. I don't care if Winston's in or Tyson Hill is in. The Saints are still going to win this game. They're a very good football team. And they should cover the five-point spread and obviously take the money line. In terms of the over-under, I will say this game is going to be under 50 and a half points. Cincinnati and Washington don't even bet on that game. That game's a wash. That's a game of two losing going nowhere teams that you obviously have a good story if Alex Smith continues to start of coming back from his leg injury that's a great story to follow and then Joe Burrow but other than those two people there's not much to follow in that game Miami Dolphins and Denver Broncos even though that is in Denver I'm going to take the Dolphins are six and three against the three and six Broncos they're going to cover the three-point spread and that game will go over 45 points I believe uh, we have the Jets and Chargers. Let's just go quickly past this. That's a game that you should probably watch, but the Chargers are so much better than the Jets, so they're going to win this game. I don't know if they'll cover the 8.5 spread because the Chargers, Herbert's been very good, but they don't have much going for them otherwise, so they haven't been amazing. But I will say this game will go under 47.5, and, and the Chargers are going to beat the Jets to get their third win and Herbert's second win as a quarterback. So... The Green Bay Packers against the Indianapolis Colts. That game is going to go to the Packers, even though it's in Indianapolis. They will cover the two-point spread, and that game will be under 51.5 total points. Dallas and Minnesota. This is another battle of two teams that have not been good this year. I will give it to the Vikings, though. They're starting to bounce back and will be at 500 if they win this game. They will win by more than a touchdown, so they will cover the 7.5 spread. Dallas is just putrid. And this game will be under 48 points because the Vikings are going to do the plethora of 
the scoring. Kansas City Chiefs against the Las Vegas Raiders. This is going to be an interesting game. Since it's in Vegas, this is going to be an upset I actually pick of the week. I think the Vegas Raiders are going to be able to win in Vegas. Carr has been really good. He's been playing very well. This is going to be my upset of the week. He has a 107.4 rating in Mahomes. Ridiculous 115 rating. I think they'll get that win. I don't think they'll cover the seven spread, though. I think they'll win within a close game and then take the Raiders' money line, which is a plus 255. That's my upset of the week. The Raiders have been playing well. Gruden's been doing good things down there. I think they'll be able to beat the Chiefs at home. And then we're moving to our last and final game of the week, Week 11, which is Monday Night Football, the L.A. Rams at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 7-3 versus a 6-3 team. Jared Goff, the youngster that's playing very well with 13-6 and six and a 94 rating versus Brady, who has 23-7 and seven with a 99 rating and really after a slow start poured it on and disprove that cliff theory entirely. So I think that, and Ronald Jones has obviously ran very well for Tampa Bay as well. I think Tampa Bay is going to be able to handle them at home, though. Ronald Jones will have a good game. Fournette will have a solid game. Tampa's wide receivers, Godwin, Brown, Evans mixed with their tight end, will just be too much for L.A.'s team, combined with their decent uh, playing and superior playing defense than the Rams uh, at times this year. I think uh, that's just going to go to... Tampa. This is a battle of two good defensive teams, though, and two good offensive teams. So it'll be interesting to see where this game goes because the both ranked top five defense and the Rams are ranked top ten offense, and then the Tampa Bay's right out of that. So I will say this game's going to go to Tampa, and it is going to be a game that is under 48 points, but Tampa will cover the minus three and a half spread. So that is our Week 11 free picks for BPAL Picks. I'm Joe Borick from BPAL Picks. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everybody. Peace out.